So tonight, first 30 minutes, we have, uh, I believe it's Viviette. Get that bad boy out of here. There you go. Let's pop it on. See how it do. I already like the music. A lot. Um, I haven't done any options or anything. I'm going to turn the volume down just a little. Full screen, no. Window size is good. Smooth graphics. Yeah, turn them pixels all the way to 11. Um, let's just jump right in. Empty. Normal. Give us your best 30 minutes. Here we go. So, I can hear the, uh... There's like a Chrono Trigger influence in those pizzicato strings. At least the sound font. It just... I love... I love the SNES sound font. It was so amazing. I really dig the pixel art so far, obviously. Very reminiscent of the Squaresoft classics. This music is great. Look who finally decided to join us. About time you open those eyes. For two days, I've been wondering what color they would be. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> Sorry, I'll try not to ruin this. Where am I? <laughs> Green. Thought so. The General Hospital, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll get the doctor and he'll fix you right up. So we're waking up somewhere with amnesia. I can not really think of too many situations you would be in where that's like going to be a positive thing that you are easily working through within the next 20, 22 minutes. <laughs> ah, the young man lives. How's the head? Aching and confused. I don't... What happened? Why am I here? That's not for me to say. Police Inspector Duvall will explain. He's on his way. Oh man, that doesn't sound good. He bought a new hat just for the occasion. Mr. Fawcett, good morning. Is it? Please, Inspector, call me Jules. Mr. Fawcett, I'm Police Inspector Marcel DeVoe. I'm in charge of your case. That sounds ominous. Merely stating the facts. Now, do you remember anything of what happened? Any details as to why you're here? I'm sorry, it's all. According to the investigators, you, your sister, and your friends were all found on... Newville's Islet. Yes, I... Hmm. Before I provide you any further information from our sources, I'd like you to think back. What can you remember? Every detail is helpful. I can't... I wish there was... I'm still confused. I feel as though I'm squeezing my memory like an orange. Only nothing comes out. You mean there's a better way? Sorry. Perhaps you should try peeling it instead. <laughs> Jesus. Mr. Fawcett, this is important. You must try to remember. Yes, you're right. Perhaps I need to try a different approach. Hmm. Staring wistfully out the window, my mind raced across. Ooh, I like those uh, roof tiles. Yo, this house looks spooky as fuck. Oh. What a waste of time. I don't even know why we came here. Come on, you weren't even the least bit curious. Ugh, curious, yes, and now disappointed. I know what brought us. Jules, I don't believe any of his sister's nonsense, Tristan. Did make a compelling story, though. 
Come on, the sun is setting and the weather is turning. Let's get off this stupid rock. Couldn't agree more, Bryce. Never a good idea to sail at night on a raging sea. This stupid kitten. Not this one on the screen, but the one in my house that's making spooky noises behind me. Keep saying that, but sorry for wasting your time, you know, your sister gets sometimes. Shouldn't be so hard on her. Okay, yeah, yeah. Beautiful boat ride. Should go, I don't like the look of those clouds. Yeah, better get out of here. Something strange. Fleece is inside. I thought she was right behind me. Don't worry, she must be still be collecting her things. You should go back and look for her. Something feels off. I'll wait at the pier with Bryce and Tristan. But whatever you say, Captain. Alright. Let me control something. I mean it's it's building up lots of suspense. It's waiting for us on the pier. It's getting dark. Oh, man. That's a spooky looking room. Whoa! Pixel jump scares. That was a genuinely terrifying uh, pixel ghost. What happened? It's dark. Damn night already? Must have been blacked out for a while. Felice! Felice! I have to find her. Isn't there an alchemical lamp on the boat? I should go back to the pier. Hi, kitty. I wonder what Dion's cat is doing here. Rory, what are you doing here? Did you get lost? That's troublesome. This concerns me. Where's the nearest pier? What? How strange. Can't see my friends anywhere. I wonder where they are. These noises are spooky as fuck in the headphones. I gotta tell you. I wish I would have been able to start. This is horrifying. Wish I would have been able to start uh, streaming some of these games over Halloween. That makes it so much scarier that he's like breathing heavily. But like, I don't. And then I keep hearing the goddamn cat. I didn't find any alchemical whatevers on the pier. It's like. I. I hate this, but like, in a good way. Like, I'm genuinely, like, creeped out. Okay. I can't, like, I gotta hand it to them. I can't believe I'm like this. So, I didn't find anything on that boat. Like... But I can't see shit. So I need to calm down, I guess? Just walk slowly, catch my breath. And then quickly grow tired. Oh, look at that. A shack. A spooky shack. This door has been barred with long wooden planks. Alright, you win this round, spooky old shack. 
as opposed to a funky little shack. Alright. Now, here comes the part where we find out that I'm a dingus and there was something in that boat and I somehow just missed it. Run towards the boat. Alright. Just keep pressing that A button. Oh, are you kidding me? Ugh. Yep. I've never had a, a, like a pixel art games atmosphere genuinely creep me out like, like this. <laughs> okay, let's turn that lamp on. X for lamp. A huge statue of a Mohua. The old seafarers still revere mythological creatures like this even in these parts. I wonder why. Oh, a shiny book. I'll save the game. No, nothing of use. Nothing of use. Some spooky. Oh, spirit board. You kids and your spirit boards. Why would you do it? Right. Into the mansion we go. Fuck, this is spooky. Locked. Maybe we can open it from the other side. Painting landscape. Somewhere near the town's shore. Wow. Dear Mr. Newville. Please, I beg you to forgive the in incident that has occurred today. My son made a mistake. He foolishly reprimanded. Never happen again. My son will never enter the house. He will leave food supplies on the pier weekly each Tuesday. I beg you allow us to continue providing your supplies. Fabio Labossier. <laughs> Amazing. This is creepy. These stairs must lead to a lower floor. Hmm. Looks like a head sculpted in some kind of chromed metal. What is that? Six arms and a gaping mouth. There's something exotic and foreign about this statue. Hmm. Is that a button on the pedestal? Sure looks like it. We're gonna have to find six gems to unlock this puzzle, are we? Hmm. Human head made in bronze. Some kind of bottle? Cute. Hey, a shirt. Can I can I wear it? No. This can't be opened. Good thing it's here. A doll inside a baby carriage. Nothing to worry about. Not at all creepy. Are you fucking kidding me? That was so scary. <laughs> Seen emblem. Here's anchored to the base. There are also two buttons. I wonder what they do. Hmm. Puzzle solving. An old oil painting. Its colors faded like everything else in this mansion. Picked some era. Motley people appear in it. Different age, height. Find out it's still too long. Crying doll. That was genuinely scary. 
Especially because I couldn't tell if it was from the game or real life. It's locked. Greco. Yep, four is gone. Is that the wind? Spooky's jump scare mansion. Half finished bust sculpted in marble. Adelard, the caption reads for my love, Viviette. Locked. Maybe it can be open from the other side. Stationary supplies. Let's see if I can survive 30 minutes. Beautiful, fantastical tree appears in this painting. It's otherworldly. Got a bookshelf. Spooky deer. Spooky buffalo. So this is, so there's got to still be something just missing. Imposing religious sculpture made of stone, blessed by decay and neglect. It's heavily damaged. A hole carved on the pedestal. I don't like that that keeps happening. It's spooky enough. Locked from the other side. Mangled wooden mannequins? Oh my god, no. Portrait of a sour man. Wonder why he's so grumpy. I hate that. Giant head of a baby made of wood. It has no eyes. Ghastly profile view of a human skeleton. The woman in the picture looks thin and emaciated. Ye. Female mannequin, almost human sized. It looks almost alive. Someone is hunched over and I can't see the face. If it even has one. Big unpleasant hand is pointing left. The girl playing the ball. The painting looks so real. The <laughs> creature? Is it a rat? Oh my god, this figure is carved wood. Canvas is blank. No, wait. Actually, it looks like someone painted a thick layer of white on top of something. Okay. Nope. Goodbye, room. So, probably some paint thinner somewhere. Sound like you. Maestro. Creatures of the sea. A whole assortment of diverse species and Roman numerals are painted. With watercolors. Hmm. Okay. I get ya. Maestro. The maestro key. Well, they're doing an amazing job um, calling on the influences of like original Resident Evil 2, you know? I know that there was that, like, thing of the, the shield, and it looked, like that hole, downstairs, oh fuck this, okay, so, it appears anchored on the base, so, there are also two buttons, Ah, 
I have no idea. I haven't the foggiest. until something eats me which is pretty much what would happen in real life hmm. any clues you want to jump out and, and get me 20 minutes common gas lamp but who lit it What? It exploded without any apparent reason. Maybe the gas caused it. Yeah, okay. Uh, I gotta say, even if I don't make it anywhere, like, I get that it's a puzzle game. I'm not gonna fault it for that in any way, obviously. Um, just because I'm an idiot. Uh, this is... It's not a door. <laughs> Just checking. Um, yeah. This is really fucking creepy. Like, so far, it's got my vote. Um, for, is this a good, is this a good 30 minutes? Yeah. Like, I want to be able to find something but again like I said I'm like I'm not gonna punish the game because I'm, I'm a dummy and I can't find it it's not beside the keyhole maestro so everything is locked um Kitten, please don't jump on the mixer. Oh, you did it. You jumped on the mixer. We still have sound, yes. Alright, I'll probably give this like... Like... like eight, ten minutes of gameplay. Just <laughs> if I wander around aimlessly... Uh, eventually I'll find something. So see anything useful here that is unfortunate i gotta say such a strange piece of art it's a large oval shaped hole decorating the center of the piece so we know there's a way to open it from the other side we know there's a lot of puzzles to be solved i just can't seem to find any way of solving them Inside the house. Oh, that looks like a, a door. Something huge root of the plant covers this part of the wall. There's another set of doors here. Oh, of course it's locked. I'll have to find another one. Spooky well. Appears to still be water inside. I really am reminded to like the original like adventure games and point and click 
uh, like adventure games um, from early PC days. Just that, like, wander around, like, until you figure it out. Which, again, I don't, I don't totally complain about. Within reason. Um, Cause like there is like a, a spookiness and a dreariness of like having to kind of wander around and, and figure it out and just feel really like helpless, you know? Lock of this gate is totally useless. I don't think I'll be able to open it anyway. Again, another place to the house. Oh, that's spooky. A water tower and a swing. Thick tree branch along with a metal wire that crosses it. And the branch seems hollow, almost as though I can hear something clanking inside. So get it. Like, why don't you get it? <laughs> okay. Spooky old graveyard. Let me guess. You're locked. <laughs> I can see a little graveyard, but it's closed. Under lock and key. Alright, well, we reached the end. Oh, good. A frightening looking bunch of freakish ravens. They're probably not plotting against me. So they are super smart. It's a big red flower. I keep hearing fucking noises. <laughs> I can't tell if it's the game or not. <gasps> oh. Hello. So that's something. Oh. Hmm. Wait a second. Let's see what this... Does it say anything? It's a very interesting bunch of runes here in spooky old church runes. Oh, I can... Man. There is so much puzzles. This is insane. It's puzzling, actually. Shit, guys. <laughs> I just... I don't know where to go. I'm completely useless and helpless here. I, I pushed some statues around. Um, but I, I have and, and remain to be still uh, pretty, like... Like not, not at all at ease, I'll say. This has robbed me of my joy, but like in a, in the way that a, a horror game is supposed to. <laughs> Just keep checking that time. <laughs>
Wait, is that it? <sighs> well, it's useless. I give up. Ghosts, you win. Take my friends. I'm going to the boat. Uh, I tried to play your spooky games. Your spooky puzzles. And, uh... You know, you win. So, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna take my stuff. And I'm gonna get out of here. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. So that's great. I'm perfectly fine with that. We're just gonna... I'm just gonna get my stuff and I'm gonna walk out of here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not at all the room I wanna go to. No. Thank you. tried my best, but I couldn't find it. I just couldn't find it. But that's okay. Um, you know what? In 30 minutes of gameplay, I did wander around like an idiot. I couldn't find the solution to any puzzles, but I found a shit ton of puzzles. I have no idea where the first clues are. Uh, so keep that in mind. It's not a game that holds your hand uh you will just have to wander around aimlessly like you would in a spooky situation while the atmosphere creeps you out like i'm still waiting for something to happen like uh, we got a bit of a jump scare but it's like that dread because i know like this game's not gonna fuck around forever like obviously something's gonna happen so it's piqued my interest like i want i want to see more i want to see more butts um, but for now, we're going to switch it over. Let's see. Hot takes.